okay so welcome back in our previous video we have handled the update product and now in this video i want to handle the delete product and this is also admin route so I simply go here and type here delete product and then goes to slash api slash v1 slash admin slash product and then this slash id of that product oops then export exports dot delete product async request response and then the next we'll see first of all find the product so that is cons product await product dot find by id so we type here request or params or id again if it doesn't exist then i have to send this message back that um, uh, product not found like that but if it is existing then i also have to remove the images associated with that product but right now again we don't have the cloudinary added so in my next videos when we add cloudinary we also have to delete the images associated with that product but right now i simply type here await product dot remove simple as that and then send message so as dot status 200.json and success to true let's type here message that product is deleted like this okay and now I press control s let's go back here and now I, it is the route is same admin product ids simply copy it from here and let's actually put them to the new line just to bit organize it like this all right so this is put and also we have the same functionality for delete so i will simply type here dot put and then dot delete for the same route and that is delete product i will move it from here okay so in this case and the url is same so that's why i added here dot put and dot delete in the same line simply press ctrl s and now if i go back let's create here delete add here domain slash api slash v1 slash product slash let's delete this first product this is sand disk so control c put it here click on send so cannot delete slash api slash v1 slash this because that is um admin so put in here slash admin now if i click on delete or uh, send so product is deleted if i go back to get all products send it you will see that we now we have eight products and send disk is gone so let's save this route so save delete product delete product by its id so let's save the products all right so now we have added all the correct operations all the product and the what we have to do here is now we just have to handle the images like before deleting it i have also deleted the images associated with that and the update i also have to update the images and in the creating new product i have to upload the images of that product and we will add all these functionalities then we will basically uh, add the cloudary functionality okay so in the next section i want to first of all handle the errors i want to implement the global error handling i will create middleware a class and then handle all the uh, like uncaught exceptions promise rejections all that stuff okay so right now i'm just using this way but i want to handle it globally with the help of the error middleware basically also i want to separate my production errors and development errors 
So I will do all that stuff in my next section. I hope that you have learned each and everything that we have discussed in this section. I know that this is like a basic.